do you see the implication of it it means they think that if they change their idea it is death if your body is at threat if somebody comes to hit you or cut you or whatever if your body is at threat your survival instincts will kick in that part of your brain will function to do whatever you have to do to face the danger the amusing thing is what neuroscientists have found is when two people are involved in a conversation in a debate the same neural patterns run do you see the implication of it it means they think that if they change their idea it is death see the body has to be protected but your mind is actually a very flexible entity but that too you have made it so rigid you think if your opinions collapse you will die unconsciously that is what is happening that is why people became so aggressive when they start debating if anybody if you face and if they are telling something and if you tell on their face you are wrong immediately in them survival instinct kicks in it should not it doesn't make sense because physicality is not at threat but that distinction is not happening you are confusing the survival instinct and applying it to all koshas this is not an intelligent thing to do and because this mix up is happening it will uh, make us our personality so rigid not bodily bodily flexibility is one dimension but today unfortunately in yoga in body flexibility everybody has other koshas are so rigid like this